up getting killed down here. Even in this area, it's dangerous, man, no lie. Say, man, I'm out here in dead end, man. 12,000 MLK, man, the gates, man. We in the original dead end right here, the village, you know what I'm saying? Shit, shit go way back, you know what I'm saying? It's the history. South Park, Jurassic Park, man, we in dead end right now. King Gates, man, whatever y'all want to call it, Park Houston, 12,000 MLK, man. <laughs>
to my era, me and Roy era, to rise in them era, jet in them era. In any era, man, nigga was getting money over here. I ain't lying. That nigga rise here, bad motherfucker. That's the baby, bro. Yeah, he, yeah, he the baby one out the click. He's he the a baby, bad bro. motherfucker yeah, with a mind of old nigga. That nigga that together. bad. I be trying to bring he, this shit together. He a young nigga with a mind of old lying. nigga. Yeah, I ain't man. lying. I be trying to bring it together for the simple fact we all fighting for the same thing. We fighting to get to the top. We out here fighting to get to the top. And if we work together, we can get there way faster. Nigga, that'll fuck their head up. Black Wall Street type shit, nigga. That'll fuck these people head up, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Teamwork make the dream work, man. Motherfuckers will be out here hooping. You know what I'm saying? That's what's another thing fucked up by the community. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have anything for the youth to do. The motherfuckers ain't got nothing to do but graffiti shit, tag shit, breaking the house. Ain't nothing for them to do, bro. Back in the day, this park right here would be, be jumping. My, my era, though, it was a pool right here. Like, in the 90s and shit, it was a pool right here. But from what I hear, you know what I'm saying? Somebody had died. Some of the kids had died in the pool. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of like filled up the pools because they didn't want to pay security to, or no lifeguards to be in the pool. They filled that shit up. You know what I'm saying? So that shit happened like that. But the park, this was a, this was, this was what we had as a park. So all we had as a park, unless we go down the street for Christmas. But growing up as a kid, we, we right here playing ball. Like, it's going to be 20 kids out here playing ball. You know what I'm saying? You got the swings over there. Like, we don't even have nothing. You know what I'm saying? They speak why the youth, how the kids is, why, how they is. I looked into buying the gold myself, though, but they have to weld that shit up there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they supposed to do that shit. To create a race on this earth, you need the black genetic gene to do that. And where do you get that from? The black man. So, hey, I'm finna, I'm finna step up and be the guard that I know I am. I'm finna reach out here, touch the youth, give them something to do. Buy basketball goals, put goals back over here in the park and apartments. Hey, have them something to do. Run little tournaments. This is what y'all do. Y'all can look forward to it. I'd rather give my money to the youth in a positive way. Y'all ain't got to be running around here with guns, shooting guns because you're watching TV, watching what these other people are doing. Y'all don't have money to protect yourself or keep yourself away from that law system. So therefore, guess what that is? That's another trap for the black man. This shit used to be gated up though, like, it used to be gated up. You couldn't even walk through here like that. You wasn't able to walk through these. It used to be gated up. Like everything, how we freely walking through here, they gated up because, you know what I'm saying, back in the day, they were hustling. The motherfucker gonna run from the lives. It's easy to get away. You know your apartment, so they gated up so you'll be blocked in. So shit like that, but this is our park. This is what we had as a park. I used to stay right up here, you know what I'm saying? And I used to literally jump out the window. Mama and the, and talking about we can't come outside. I'm gonna jump out this window, literally. Nigga like, we stay right here. I stayed over there too. We stayed out around these hoes. And you got to understand. Because I know, I know for shit shows. I'm a young nigga at the time watching these niggas, man. They can been time, nigga, nigga, a chip bag there. Nigga, you hit the chip bag, nigga. Got zips in that, nigga. You done came up on, come on. A hell of a fire error, nigga. Nigga, pull up on you. How much you got in your pocket, little nigga? You 12 and 13, you got a $1,000. They give you a zip for $100. You get, come on, 10 zips. You couldn't do nothing but come up. Yeah. It was a hell of a fight out in them 90s, man. It ain't that, though. I ain't gonna lie, I can't, I can't take it from you, but I ain't had that shit. Nigga, it was fucked up. Man, but you got to understand, young niggas think different than the old niggas. Man, them young niggas is robbing out there. Them niggas don't want to fuck with them, man. Nigga ain't fit to lose everything he got fucking with these niggas. Nigga like got to take a nigga live fuck, doing that fuck shit, man. They listen to plies and everybody else got even talking about robbing the plug. That ain't how you do it, man. That's fucked up the game. Listen to me, man. Robbing the plug fucked up the game. Stop listening to them rappers, man. This real talk. Them rappers just, they getting your bullshit. They ain't on that shit they telling y'all they on, but they got y'all on everything. Shrooms. Y'all on everything out there. Apartments back there, they just tow that shit down. You know what I'm saying? They got most shit back there. They used to be Esperanza. You'd be a snow back there. You go through the gate. They used to sell you. My mom used to go get beer on food stamps from that hoe. Beer and cigarettes on food stamps. She was able to go in that bitch. Nigga, mama just said we ain't had no money. Like, how the hell you get beer? Beer costs money. Cigarettes cost money. And I had to realize there wasn't no tenner because my mama, she ain't never had tenner and shit like that. They would really accept food stamps for her to buy beer and cigarettes, nigga. Like, that shit crazy. Like, Crazy, man. Just growing up over here, this shit crazy. Feel me, but shit. 
This what made me a man, you know what I'm saying? This, I'm pretty sure it made a lot of motherfuckers men. I mean, for like, 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 you know, dead end, you know, dead end, like, like you say, legend dead, so. But me growing up, I've been down here all my life. It ain't, it ain't how it used to be, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It, it didn't come down a lot, but with the new generation, it's kind of, it's, it come down a lot, but it's still kind of wild. But for us with the live, yeah, they be, they be tripping, they be down here because all the, you know what I'm saying, the gang violence and, and, and the gang activity they got going on. So, you know, which there's like, there's everywhere. But down here, like, as far as the law, just, I mean, they have their days, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. have their days when they want to come through and they, they do they walk through or they be on BS, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, man, we, 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 it, it been kind of cool. It been kind of clear down yeah. here. Yeah, like 12,000 is original hunger money. You know what I'm saying? HMC. <clears throat> that shit was established in 2000, you know what I'm saying? By a group of motherfuckers, just, you know, young niggas. We gon' hungry money. You know what I'm saying? So it was like shit. I always wanna be like them. Hustlers. Hustlers. I'm grinding, you know what I'm saying? Shit, watching them grow up. You know what I'm saying? Having money. Driving cars. Bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. That shit. I was, you know what I'm saying? That's what had got me, you know what I'm saying? Into this shit. So, like, Jump down with that shit. I ain't really about that, but just watching them, watching all type of shit. Just that was people around here. You know what I'm saying? Stacks, Slim, Steamer. You know what I'm saying? JB. You know what I'm saying? Shit, the list goes on. You know what I'm saying? JJ, uh, motherfucking me, uh, Lil Penny. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep on going. Logo, nigga, Crazy D. Watching them. You know what I'm saying? It was a group of young niggas, basically like they little brothers. We used to go around, but. Shit, I ain't gonna try to dine nobody, but shit, everybody really went their little separate ways, you know? So, shit. Every Sunday, you come out here on a Sunday, you're gonna MLK, man, they doing it, you're gonna see slabs, females, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of players out there, get money niggas out there, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of players, females, you know what I'm saying? You come out here Sunday on MLK, you're gonna see that. That's what they doing every Sunday on MLK, you know what I'm saying? Wolves, hyenas, full of them, man. You had to be vicious to walk through the VA, man. To fuck with the vicious animals, you had to be vicious. I'm taking you through that. In any era, you had to be vicious to walk through the VA, man. And I was one of them niggas can go through that. I got my name on every, in any apartment, I got my name on the brick around here, man. I ain't lying. It's real talk. I ain't bullshitting with y'all. From what I seen and what I experienced, I learned something, man. I sat down, I did some time. I had to learn the hard way. But it's like this here. Like I said, I don't just sit out here and hustle for no reason. I know what I'm doing. It's something positive too. I'm looking at these young ones running around with no guidance. So hey, yeah, I got what you want, come here, but let me talk to you though. Let me tell you something, give you a better way to do things. When I do that, look, I'm grabbing more attention, just clientele. I'm reaching out and touching people and they starting to get close to me. Now they want to be family. It ain't even no wanna be shit. You is family. You you listening? Now I'ma give it to you. Cause hey, our black people been looked looked down on for too long, man. Too long. Scenario. How can these essays just out the blue form a cartel, but us black people can't get along with one another? That's false too, cause we can. I done done it. Go, go to Pie Burns or go to one of these places, buy some chicken, cook it out here in the hood. Ain't nobody got to pay, just eat. But come here, let me talk to you, though. Giving them game. Look here. You shouldn't have to go to the penitentiary, man. Just to understand, hey, these are the mistakes I made. I don't need to make the mistakes again. What's some of the fucked up shit you seen out here? Shit. Fucked up shit, nigga. I seen, nigga. Partners killing partners, nigga. Nigga, knees holding on. Nigga, partners killing partners, nigga. Like, nigga, my best friend, nigga. Like, I ain't gonna just say it's, I ain't gonna say best friend, but, you know what I'm saying, a close friend of mine, nigga, we all in the same circle. These niggas arguing over something so, so small as a dice game. It probably wasn't even a lot of money. It probably was dollars, you know what I'm saying, to, it escalated into shots were fired in. You know what I'm saying? Bro left that dead, you know what I'm saying? That's some fucked up shit. When I first moved out here, little kid. I was a little kid, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We moved from... We was staying third ward, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm probably about five, six years old. As soon as I come outside, you know what I'm saying? Mom used to tell us not to come outside, you know what I'm saying? I don't come outside, I come outside. Nigga dead in, in the street. This probably about, what, I'm gonna say like 2000, 1999. 
nigga dead in the street. So me as a little boy, I'm growing up as a as a, a little boy. This is what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing this. You know what I'm saying? We ain't had no doctors and lawyers coming up out the hood. We ain't had no doctors and lawyers. Nigga, we had dope boys. You know what I'm saying? Niggas going to be robbing. And then it's like, even with me, when I was growing up, like, they wasn't giving me the good game. I ain't trying to put motherfuckers down because a lot of times they ain't really know. You know what I'm saying? Or they don't know how to tell you. Motherfucker might not know how to tell you. But shit, nigga, nigga was having jobs and shit. Nigga would have a real job and be having bread coming in from a chick, making it seem like that's their hustle money. But the whole time, this really your chick money. But a nigga looking, I was looking up to that. Like, I want to get that bread. I want to get that bread. I got to get this money. I got to get this money. You know what I'm saying? And then people weren't telling you about the bad shit that come with that. Motherfucker trying to rob you and shit. Motherfucker stealing from you. You know what I'm saying? You going to jail. You know what I'm saying? You going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Look, look. Bullshit of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Through the house of kids, every breezeway had a boss in it. Every breezeway had a boss in it, nigga. Like them slabs out here. Nigga got keys to all of them. Pick which one you want to ride in. That's how it went down right here. This is where it all started, right here, though. Dead end, man. Down dead end. This is where it all started. Sipping, drink, swingers, being a player, you know what I'm saying? You know, they call us players, man. That's where it started, you know what I'm saying? Now, now, you say dead end. A lot of cats, especially that's not from Texas, but they heard of Texas, uh, they don't even know some of the legends that came out of dead end. Can you name some? Man, we got what? Fat Pack, Big Hawk, you know. I'm, I'm a little younger, so, you know what I'm saying? But Fat Pack, Big Hawk, you got, uh, uh, you got, you got, you got KK, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, right around the corner. In the crack era. When it first started, I'm watching these niggas. See, you got to understand, I touched it in the 90s, early 90s. These niggas had it in the 80s, and I'm seeing how they coming down as a young nigga. These niggas going to school like this, nigga. Yeah. In slabs. Young niggas. Yeah. Roy pulling up at Sterling. Box Lincoln just like Pat had, nigga. Yeah. He was a young nigga. Shit shot. It was kind of fucked up though. Different. It's different in our era though. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wasn't, like you say, niggas was robbing. Niggas was robbing, so niggas is scared to fuck with a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? But shit was, it was different. You no, know, as shit, the prices changed. Prices changed. You couldn't go out there and get no zip. No, no, no. Nigga, with a nigga coming up on, then they got the whip game came in the, came into play. When the whip game man, came into play. The whip was for the out of time niggas, they man. They started whipping niggas in the, the city. The whip was for the out of time niggas in the era I come up in. Niggas got scared of the road, start whipping the city. Shh. Like Come on, nigga, man. A young nigga coming up my age, young nigga coming up my age, it's like, shit, I ain't gonna lie, well, I ain't had too many motherfuckers that'll really look at a nigga and be like, I ain't gonna lie, I wanna see this nigga get some bread. It's like, shit, they worry about they bread. They whipping me. They whipping me. I ain't had nobody just a young nigga, yeah, $100, nigga. Turn, you know what I'm saying? So I had got it hard, I ain't gonna lie. I got it hard, but I made the but best out of it. shit. Made the best he out of it. He got it, though. Growing up in this hoe, though, 90s, baby, my mama smoked the crack, nigga. Like, so it's like, nigga, I deal with that in these hoes. I deal with, nigga, these niggas selling my mama dope and shit. Nigga, like, real life, I can, nigga, remember going, look, kid, I'm probably about 10, 11 years old, probably nine. I know my mama buying that dope from them niggas, huh? Breezeway in the back, breezeway just like one of these breezeways, huh? Run up on bro, bro, by 20 years old, 21 years old. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, you sell my mama some dope again, I'ma kill you. Like, I'ma kill you, and I don't know how I was gonna kill him, but deep down in my heart, nigga, I'm like, so watching that shit, you know what I'm saying? And I had drug cases as I got older, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the transition, but I could talk about my path because this shit is what's going to motivate other people to have a transition, you know what I'm saying? So you know, I did that shit to the same. I watched what it did to my family, and I came out here and I did the same shit to other people's families, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, I ain't going to lie, growing and being able to mature and realizing what this shit is all about, man. Me understanding scientifically what happened to me, a full massive stroke, then two brain surgeries, they say I don't even supposed to be here. But I know who I am. I'm a god. I can quote the Bible many, many ways. I read it from back three times. In the Bible it said, let us make man in the likeness of us. The key word out of all that is us. Who is God talking to? Scientifically? the original black man.
Have you ever dealt with the laws coming up here doing some fucked up shit? Fuck trying to fuck over yeah, nigga yeah, or something nigga. like that? I had high speed chases and led them hoes to this hoe, nigga. Living witnesses, nigga. I had high speed chases coming through this hoe. I had a Camaro, nigga. I parked the Camaro right there. They like, nigga, damn, bitch, my my my, my brake smoking. Nigga, I got the brake. I'm coming through that bitch so bad. The brake smoking, nigga. Like, yeah, the law used to come just wanna harass us. We don't even really we got a police lady in the front, Suzanne. My mom used to work up there too, so I can't blame Suzanne. I know her job and what she do. Her job is really to protect us. But at the same time, she be fucking with us too. She the motherfucker gonna call a lot, but hell yeah. Back in the day, we had the owners of these hoes. They'll ride around this hoe, nigga. They'll unlock your door. They'll come in your shit. You can be trapping, nigga. They'll come in your shit. Like, they, I used to think they was allowed. Them was I allowed when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, they used to be harassing, nigga. We used to have a curfew around here, nigga. Like, we used to have to go in the house at 9 o'clock. Suzanne used to hit the block with a big ass flashlight. This lady hit the block with a big ass flashlight. And that used to be our thing as a kid. That used to be our thing. That would be fun. We'll wait. She come around. We know it's 9 o'clock. We gonna run from her. Throw rocks at her. Scream, fuck you. Bitch, all type of shit. We hiding from her. That used to be our fun. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, we got Suzanne. That's our law. You always had that secret location. Now, when I say a secret location, it could mean many things. But right now, we talking about the Cool Cup lady. We talking about the Frito Pie lady. We talking about the ice cream sandwich lady. Yeah. Hey, man. All that. Man. Now, growing up, did, you, did, 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 did y'all have that going on, oh, man? Oh, man. We, we, we always had a cool cup lady and a can to hide. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, 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 I'm originally from right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm really from right here, King Gates. You know what I'm saying? But I grew up on the other side of the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like, right here, I'm down here fucking with my boy Pop. Man, but on the other side of the bridge, yo, we, man, we got this lady named Shout Out Miss Carol, man. She not even no kin house, cool club lady, or nothing. That's just a spot where everybody chill at. You know what I'm saying? You need somewhere to go, need somewhere to sleep at night, go to Miss Carol High. You Food in show. your belly, go to Miss Carol High. Food in your belly, go to Miss Carol High. You yeah. show got a spot. Yeah. The show got a spot to lay your head down. She gonna open the door. She gonna open the door for you. We had a ice cream truck used to come to this hoe. This ghetto shit, them niggas used to rob the ice cream truck. Feed all the kids candy and shit. Everything up on that hoe just, but that was the negativity coming about this hoe. Like I always want to do something positive, so. Like I say, I do little shit for the kids. We do Easter egg hunts, you know what I'm saying? Why I put gold, we put gold coins up in there. You know what I'm saying? We put money in there, not just candy. I do, we do back to school drives. I cut hair, you know what I'm saying? We gonna cut hair for the kids. You know, just all type of stuff. It ain't just about getting out here hustling, taking their bread, taking money, you know what I'm saying? So. I really just want to do something big. I see a lot of people that I knew grew up with. They sit out here, we, they get their money that, in they whatever way they do, but it's like this here. Y'all see what's going on. Why you not taking the initiative to be a man and let these young ones know? I'm not judging you for what you do, but it's a better way to do what you're doing. I don't see that a lot. So I feel like that's my purpose. But get out here and I'm gonna touch the youth, man. Got them in the way. Cause when they go do something with their life, I guarantee you, they'll look back 10 years later from this and be like, man, that man told me I could do this and look where I'm at now. And me seeing that could be done just from communication and showing people through actions instead of words, it's a better way, man, and you could be a better person doing it. I regret, hey, some of the things I've done, but we can't press rewind. This ain't no game. This ain't a movie. I was a little boy, nigga. I probably about 11, 10 at the same time. I'm seeing everything going around, nigga. I never take it from a nigga. Crystal, Crystal, you know what I'm saying? She hungry money too. You know what I'm saying? She came and told me. She on some shit like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, you need to get you some money. You know what I'm saying? You need to get you some money. Later on, I found out that my own, my sister was the one who was giving her the game, but she was passing it down to me. You need to get you some bread. I'm like, hell nah, I ain't gonna lie. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I was a young nigga. I was smoking weed and shit, but I'm like, uh, what you talking about? Like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't, I don't wanna sell no crack because my mama smoked crack. You know what I'm saying? She used to be on some shit like, nigga, you ain't gotta sell it. Just bring me the people. You know what I'm saying? So I bring her people. You know what I'm saying? She'll make sure I have me some lunch money. Make sure I be cool on, on my tools and fuels. You know what I'm saying? Other than what the fam was doing, but shit. You know, she would make sure a nigga be good. Uh, shit, Fat Mike stayed in the back, rest in peace, Fat Mike, you know what I'm saying? Fat Mike died of tragedy going out on the league, watching my niggas leave and watching my big homies leave and don't come back, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that we finna come back and we gonna be on, let, listen to them tell me when I get back we gonna be good. And nigga, not seeing them come back, nigga, dealing with that shit up in this hole, nigga. R.I.P. Slim Ross, he died the same way, you know what I'm saying? 
And that shit, just watching that shit, you know what I'm saying? It really kind of changed my outlook on shit. Then my big brother Stax, he told me, like, when I was young, that's why I was on some hustling shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I got a hustle at heart, entrepreneur heart. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga told me, you know what I'm saying, when I was young. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was hanging with all the niggas. All my young niggas, they, people in my age, they was robbing at the time. You know what I'm saying? But he used to tell me, bitch, I ain't gonna lie. You don't want to go get caught. You don't want to do nothing with no gun. Anything you do with a gun is going to be aggravated. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do all your motherfucking time. If you can drop game for the youth out there, man, listening, uh, what, what, what jewels would you give them, man? Do the opposite than what I did. You know what I'm saying? Don't be so flashy. Stay off the ground, man. The gram ain't got for everybody. What you do ain't for everybody, man. Stay off the gram doing what you do. That's what I got for them. I had to be smart. Now it's time to be wise. No more room for mistakes. And the only way to keep from making the mistakes is to come out here, touch this youth, and let them know, look, man, I believe in y'all. If I had someone to tell me this and do this for me too, I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be in this situation or doing what I'm doing now. I'll be somewhere... You'll be watching me on TV, sports, not even sports, music. It's, it's possible. It's all up to you what you want to do. But we need that extra push from our older people. We need that push. To get that push, we need to hit the motivated words to know, hey, man, I could be a better me. I don't need this person telling me this here because what this man told me, he showed me exactly how I could do it. And not just showing, but just like I say, the motivating words. Let me tell you something, show you something, and give you something that I know I should have done, but I messed up. So now I got to give it to someone else and watch them rebirth themselves from me. It's a different generation right now, so a lot of young cats don't, they don't be understanding and, and knowing who is who. You know what I'm saying? But as far as me, I'm, I'm trying to follow the footsteps, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it going and keep it clear on this end, you know what I'm saying? I don't be with all the extras, you know what I'm saying? I be want to keep it clear, get some money, man, and, and stay out the way. I mean, everybody got to be on the same type of mindset, generation of whoop, you know what I'm saying? Got paparazzi in this bitch, I'm out here fucking my big brother band, we out here fucking with strict hood talk. And he real fishing. The boy reached out and touched us. He touched, he touched dead end, nigga. He reached out and touched us. He gave, he going to hear our story. That's how cold he is, nigga. He reached out and touched us, nigga. And this is a little B, man. You know what I'm saying? Dead end, man. I'm fucking with Strict Hood Talk, man. Say, man. Shout out to uh, Strict Hood Talk, man. Much love, man. Appreciate what you're doing. I like what you're doing. You got my vote. I salute that, man.